Let knowledge flow like a river without any hindrance. Don't make it like a stagnant pool. Design and Analysis of Pile Cap by Eggshell Part 6 7 Piles Cap Hello everybody, I am P.S. Chatterjee with you. Today I am going to explain you how we can prepare an Excel performer for the design of 7 Piles Cap. If you are watching this video first time, then start from Part 1 for more information. I hope you are going to enjoy this video. Your views, like, share, comment, subscription are the inspiration and remuneration of my hard work. Before start of the lecture, please like, share and subscribe my channel. This is our 7 pile cap. Type 11. And this is type 12. If we grab the design of for 2 to 5 pile cap, then we can design pile cap with any number of pile in square array or rectangular array. Dimensions of pile cap. Pile cap dimension, length is equal to LA, width is equal to LV, spacing of pile is equal to S, column dimension in X direction CX, in Z direction CZ, dimension of punching area BX in X direction is equal to 2 into D punch plus CX. In BZ, BZ in Z direction is equal to 2 D punch plus CZ. Overall depth D. Punching depth D punch. Lever arm for type 11 in X direction JX is equal to S. ZZ is equal to S. Lever arm for type 12 in X direction JX is equal to S and in Z direction ZZ is equal to S. Load on pile cap for type 11. Total self weight of pile cap is equal to capital SW. Self weight on each pile small SW is equal to SW by 7. So load on P1, P3 and P5, P7 is equal to R1. R1 max is equal to SW plus F5 by 7 plus absolute MX by ZZ divided by 3 plus absolute MZ by JX by 2. And R1 minimum is equal to small SW plus F5 by 7 minus absolute MX by ZZ by 3 plus absolute MZ divided by JX divided by 2. So load on P2 and P6 is equal to R2. R2 max is equal to SW plus FY by 7 plus absolute MX by ZZ by 3. R2 minimum is equal to SW minus FY by 7 plus absolute MX by ZZ divided by 3. So load on P4 is equal to R3. R3 is equal to SW plus FY by 7. Load on pile cap for type 12. As usual, self weight of pile cap is equal to capital SW. Self weight on each pile is equal to small SW is equal to SW by 7. So load on P1, P5, P3 and P7 is equal to R1. This is P1, P5, P3, P7. R1 max is equal to a small SW plus FY by 7 plus absolute MX by ZZ divided by 2 plus absolute MZ divided by JX divided by 3. R2 minimum is equal to small SW plus FY by 7 minus absolute MX by ZZ by 2 F plus absolute MZ divided by JX by 3. So load on P2 and P6 is equal to R2. R2 max is equal to small SW plus FY by 7 plus absolute MZ divided by ZZ divided by 3. R2 minimum is equal to small SW minus FI by 7 plus absolute MZ by ZZ divided by 3. So load on P4 is equal to R3. R3 is equal to small SW plus FI by 7.
shear force on bending moment for type 11. Maximum shear force B is equal to 3 R1 max when we are considering section through x axis and maximum BM is equal to MX is equal to Ace into 3 R1 max. When we are considering the section through Z axis, maximum SF is equal to V is equal to 2 into R2 max and maximum BM is equal to MZ is equal to 2S into 2 R2 max. Similarly, for type 12, when we are considering the section through x axis, maximum SF is equal to V is equal to 2 into R1 max, maximum BS, BM is equal to MX is equal to S into 2 into R1 max, and when we are considering the section through z axis, maximum SF is equal to V is equal to 3 into R2 max. Maximum BM is equal to MZ is equal to S into 3 into R2 max. Now I am switching over to the X spreadsheet for numerical calculation. Welcome to my X spreadsheet for design and analysis of 7 bile scan. This is our service load from column. This is not satisfactory for 6 piles cap. Now I am changing from 6 to 7 piles cap type 1. Say it is on hard clay. So minimum spacing for pile will be 1, 2, 5, 0. So I am changing 1 to 5 to 0. Diameter of pile 500. Pile capacity say 550 kilonewton. Overall depth say 900. Say punching depth 750. Site projection cannot be more than 900. So we are considering 800. Say spacing, we are considering bar, dia, 20, both direction 20, 100. Say spacing 100, 100. Say FCK, M25, FY, 500. Column dimension we can change 400, sorry, 450 by 450. Look here, maximum capacity of pile 550 and maximum design load on each file 540. So, okay, we have problem only on punching stress. So, we are increasing punching depth 800. Not okay. 900. It's okay. Now design shear stress, calculated shear stress 0 0.44 and 0 0.76. Now we can reduce this to 75 mm and 75 mm not okay we are increasing the dia of bar to 25 25 now if we reduce this 50 look here minimum percentage and limit it will cross the maximum limit percentage of steel so we cannot do this 75 now we have to increase the overall depth. Now I am 
before increasing the overall drip, I am considering the we can consider the increment allowable increment is 50 percent so we are get we are taking 25 percent load reduction for live load and uh, for um, load reduction for opening and live load <coughs> say it is 14 percent and group efficiency yes Group efficiency is 75%. Now, maximum capacity is 413. Maximum load on pile 474. So, we have to check this. If we increase 10%, 55, that means 600 and 5, 605. Not okay. If we increase 15%, Now I have increased this pile capacity. When this pile are in group, we can increase the capacity up to twenty five percent. So at 25 percent so i'm increasing 20 percent so pile capacity becomes 660 kilonewton till design shear still one way here is not okay now i have to change 950 not okay 1000 not okay and Oh, oh, sorry. We have to change overall depth. One, zero, zero, zero. Very close, but not exact value. One, zero, five, zero. 1050 not okay 1100 not okay 1150 now design is okay once again i'm changing the direction once again, I'm changing the arrangement of pile from 11 to 12. This is also okay. And this is all about my design of pile cap by few clicks, part six. I hope you enjoyed it. Part seven, that is eight pile cap, will be released very soon. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also evaluate my performance with your valuable comments. Excel suite will be distributed after the release of part 8. Thank you.